Hello Geeks, this is Brian Kui from MedicalCodingGeek.com. If you're watching this video for the first time, thank you for visiting the channel and hitting the play button. I am the founder of Medical Coding Geek and the administrator of multiple Facebook groups, including Medical Coding Geeks, the RHIT and RHIA exam support group, and the CDI network. This week is Health Information Professionals Week. This year's theme is keeping health information human. When health information stays human, it stays relevant. AHIMA is celebrating the 32nd annual Health Information Professionals Week, but I am celebrating 20 years since starting the Health Information Management program. So for this video, I wanted to share how I found health information management and how it molded my career. As mentioned in the first Medical Coding Geek video, I mentioned I graduated with my bachelor's degree in health information management in 2003. But prior to that, when I first started college in 1998, I initially wanted to go into physical therapy. However, after telling my mom I wanted to go into physical therapy, my mom, who is a nurse, advised me the industry was very saturated and overwhelmed. So after looking over the program, I decided to go into nursing. Unfortunately, I did not make the nursing program after doing not so great in microbiology. I became very lost. I looked into other programs, including pre-med, biomedical engineering. I then finally settled on medical technology, but unfortunately the program was closed. I went into career services and I tried to see what other healthcare related programs the college offered. Then I found a pamphlet from the American Health Information Management Association that had a very simple formula. And that formula was healthcare plus technology equals success. This is where I first learned about health information management and I thought, boy, this would be a great program to get into because I like healthcare, but I also like technology too. The program totally made sense to me. Most of my college friends were going into management information systems. So I figured, well, if they're going into MIS, I'll go into HIM and the rest is history. At the time I entered the HIM program, healthcare was in the process of implementing HIPAA and also transitioning from a paper-based environment to an electronic health record environment. 20 years later, we are implementing the 21st Century Cures Act, exchanging health information digitally and working remote from our homes. A lot has changed since 2001 and I look forward to the next 20 years. I've shared my HIM story multiple times in the Not Elsewhere Classified podcast. Just like the last video, I have curated for you episodes of fellow HIM professionals who have similar but unique stories of how they got into HIM. Are you interested in a career in health information management? Check out the American Health Information Management Association by going to ahima.org. You can also celebrate Health Information Professionals Week by going to hipweek.org, H-I-P-W-E-E-K.org. Do you have any questions about health information management? Please post them in the comments below. If this video got you interested in health information management, give this video a like and consider subscribing to our channel for more videos on medical coding, health information management, and clinical documentation integrity. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Why am I wearing my ears? <laughs> Bachelor's degree in health information. Eight. I will in <clears throat> after doing on Cures Act, it's exchanging. Oh, do that again. Give this video a like and consider scrubs uh, again on medical coding, health information, and